Okay, so I've had a couple of people uh, asking me just recently on how to create a DVD in Windows 10, so uh, it's a little bit of a route round to try and find a solution because uh, as we, um, as you know, if you're probably watching this, that Windows 10 doesn't come with the uh, built-in um, DVD authoring and burning tool that uh, window, uh, Microsoft used to include, uh, which was uh, Windows DVD Maker. Um, so looking for a free solution that there's these uh, two programs here that you're going to need um, to create your DVD um, to play under your telly or your computer whichever one you want. Uh, the first one you're going to need is DVD Flick. Uh, the website for this you need to make sure you go to the uh, right website. Uh, don't go to any third party, you don't need to be paying anything. Uh, DVD Flick uh, .net. and just go to the download button, download DVD Flick. Obviously run, install it, uh, don't try and open it just yet, I'll just show you what you need to do. Uh, the next one you're going to need is IMG uh, Burn. Um, make sure you go to the, again, the right site, imgburn.com. I'll put both of these links, DVD Flick and IMG Burn, on the bottom of this video. Uh, just go to the download section. In here there's a different place where you can download it from. I always tend to try to go to the IMG Burn one. Um, but obviously you've got to wherever you want. Uh, when you do install IMG Burn, just make sure that um, if you don't want some of the third party things, uh, for example, it can reset your um, uh, web page. Uh, I think it installs Google and some other bits and pieces. Yeah, you can untick that, so just don't click next. Just make sure you read um, when you're installing IMG Burn. It's a really good program, a really good free tool. So once you've got both of them on, uh, the first thing you need to do, if you try and open DVD Flick, it might run, uh, but 90% uh, of the time it uh, it's problems. So you need to run it in compatibility mode. So go to the icon, DVD Flick, right click, go to properties, into compatibility. And then here you can actually run the compatibility troubleshooter if you've already tried to give it a go. But this is the one you want. You need to make sure that this is ticked, compatibility mode. So make sure you tick that. Uh, you've got multiple different options here, but Windows Vista Service Pack 2 is the one to use. Once you've done that, click Apply, click OK. Uh, before we start, and you think it's worth, if you just install both of these programs, is to just run, uh, make sure you open it. Uh, open both programs so you know that they both work. Um, IMG Burn will open automatically with a setting that we use in DVD Flick. Um, so we can see that it's working, it opens fine. So to start with, we need to open uh, DVD Flick. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because I just want to show you how to burn the DVD. There's quite a lot of settings. Oh, well, there's um, the few settings at the top. It's quite basic for uh, this type of program, but it's uh, enough for what we need. So the first thing to do is you need to um, put some uh, video in here. So if you've got something that you're thinking of, I'll just stick something in. Um, Uh, stick this in, whatever that is, it looks like it's a short video. So once you um, drag it into DVD Flick, it'll just take it a bit just to process it. Depending on how big the file is, it'll take it longer. This must be only a smallish file, it's not taking that long. So now that we have it loaded into um, this main screen here, we've then got a couple of options. We can save the project if we're wanting to save it and then come back and play around with some of the tools later. Um, project settings, the most important one here is burning. I will quickly go through them. General, you can give your video a title. I'll call it the name of the actual video in mind, Terraria. Here you can look for whatever you're going to put in your drive. So um, you can go for a DVD double layer, you can just know the standard DVD, CDs. Um, so we might just go for, no, we'll, we'll do it on a DVD. So go to DVD. Um, Fred count will set automatically. If you're wondering what these are, there's a little help menu. You click on there and it'll tell you about them. Um, again, not going to go too much detail, but PAL, we're in the UK, so it's set as PAL at the moment. You can set it to NTSC. Um, the main one that I wanted to get to is the burning. If you don't tick this, it won't burn any DVD at all. So the burning section, you need to burn the project to disk. Make sure that that's ticked. Again, give the uh, video, uh, the disk label, a disk a label. And we're going to call it Terraria DVD. Make sure that the drive is selected as the one that's on your computer. So I only have one on this, uh, this desktop, which is this Pioneer here. 
speed is set automatically you can change this it will warn you um, if you go too high uh, it's obviously to burning too high low increase the risk of errors so um, go for whatever speed you fancy uh, obviously discs need to be compatible as well as the drive um, it, this setting here if you're sticking, um, sticking a, a rewritable disc in that will um, erase it before it uh, tries to burn the uh, DVD so once you're there click accept and then the, you do have the menu settings as well in here this is the menu that you get presented with if you put it into sort of a DVD player under the telly uh, or your computer these are the basic menus it will um, open these up as soon as you stick the DVD in uh, I tend to score with none, um, but it's up to you what you use. Uh, you can set, I say, I'm not going to go into any details here, I'm just going to select none. So basically, when you stick the DVD in, it will go straight away and start to play. So then we click accept. So making sure that we have all them options selected. We then have the project destination folder. If you've already created a couple in this, it will say that um, the day uh, the actual destination folder has been created. So in here we have to name it something, you see I've got DVD 1, so that was one I did earlier, I do DVD 2, so that's where it's actually going to just put the project to. And this bar here on the left, if we've got a larger um, video in here, this will fill up depending on how much, uh, how big the uh, video file is. So this is like I say, it's probably only 30-40 seconds worth and it's only 1% of the actual disc. So now's the time to uh, stick your DVD in, your blank DVD. Okay, so I'm just going to put the uh, blank DVD in the drive. And again, depending on how your machine is set up, it might bring a box up. Uh, windows can be set to automatically do certain things when you insert a disc. So it might bring up a, an already a burning software that you already have on there. Or it might bring the uh, Windows Explorer. Depends on how you've got it set. Uh, once we're ready to go, we've got the DVD in the drive, we then want to create the DVD. So as soon as I push this, it's going to start to, you'll see what it starts to do. It starts to encode the video, obviously the uh, encodes the audio off the actual um, video that we've just dragged into DVD Flick. And depending on uh, how big your uh, video file is, will depend on how long this takes. So as soon as it goes to final analyze, you'll see that it opens IMG Burn, and this is that box that we ticked earlier. So I'm just going to drag in these around just so you can see what's going on. So this is standard sort of practice with uh, doing DVDs. It'll put to the buffer first, and once it's um, set, it will then start uh, doing the lead in and, and writing the actual files to the disk. So at this stage I'll probably um, just skip the video just to the uh, end finalising. Um, it shouldn't take it that long, as soon as it starts here we'll just uh, skip on. And so if you're watching this back you can basically, you can see there it's um, burning the disc as the buffer drops down. And this is just standard for any DVD or CD burning software. Uh, the Okay, so uh, the thing is when it's writing this disc, don't get impatient with it, just let it all finish properly, as you can see it has just done there. Uh, and once it's done, you can free to close DVD flick. And this here, when we go to close here, it'll ask if we want to save the project. I'm not really interested in saving this, because it's just purely for this, uh, this YouTube video. Um, so, yeah, we're going to exit. Okay, so I'll put the DVD in, uh, and then just, depending if your mine's not set to autoplay, uh, but I'll just... Um, right click um, play with that so we just prove that it's worked and there you can see that's the video that we burned to the um, DVD ok I hope this has helped uh, if it has if you can just uh, uh, subscribe to um, my channel or make a few comments or a like it would be much appreciated thanks for watching thank you